All right, good morning. Welcome to Air Science. It's Monday morning, so you may have just had that thunderstorm roll through if you saw it coming uh, out the window here. 7.43 was maybe 15 minutes ago or so. Let's do like a really broad view on what that was. And then as we unpack what's going on with these different weather things that could be on the regions, um, we'll go further in detail. But this low right here is going to be the reason for that. We got to get into the idea that lows have winds going around them in a counterclockwise direction. So what this is doing here, these blue lines are cold fronts. This is cold air. Can I write on here? I think I can. This is cold air shoving its way down there from Canada. Cold, dry air coming from a cold, dry place. And as it sweeps through this, what we've got here with this warm front is warmer, wetter air. There's a tropical storm right here that's wanting to go that way. So, I mean, it was pretty sticky yesterday humid. As this punches through, that's what creates that storm, is that cold, dry air displacing that warm, wet air and, and then mixing up. This is the uh, radar of that storm. And a little bit of noise here, but I think it's this one is the one that really came through and got us. So this would be the colder, drier air behind it and shoving its way through. And there's that overall counterclockwise flow around that low that's up there, up here. And that's where it really punched right on Pulaski right there, boom. Okay, so that's a, there's like a lot. We've got to figure out um, what what this like really looks like and why does it create this, this thin line of thunderstorms. That thin line of thunderstorms really as this thing comes across is very closely showing us where that cold front is. Cold or drier air should be behind it, which we shouldn't see for the next, like for the afternoon tomorrow is cold or drier air. All right, a lot to unpack there, but that's just to like kind of let you see where we're going. More to come.